Hey guys, it's Megan. We're back in the library for a very impromptu video. I literally just decided to film this like two minutes ago. <laughs> so today I thought I would show you my process for opening the library every single morning. I kind of do a series of tasks every morning. Sometimes it varies depending on what I'm doing that day and what I need to prep, but a lot of times it's pretty similar. So I just thought I'd show you because I only have 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes now, before students are allowed to start walking down the hallways because they're in the cafeteria and the gym up until 840. Yeah, and our school doesn't start till 850, which is nice. So I have till 8.40 and it is 8.22. So we have 18 minutes to get the library ready before students can come in here. So let me show you what all I do. I come in the main doors in the morning and my first step is to turn on the lights. We have lots of light switches and sometimes they're flipped the opposite way and it drives me nuts. But anyway, so here we have the library. I come in, I come into my office, which is right here. I put away my purse. I grab my lunch and put it over here in the fridge. I have this nice little workroom, which is so awesome that this is attached to the library <laughs> that I have, you know, a sink and various things in addition to all the storage space and, you know, places to eat. It's kind of like a little mini teacher's lounge even. A lot of people come in here and eat lunch. Um, but I come in, I turn my computer screen on. I see if there's anything that needs to be done ASAP. So I have my two monitors. I always have my email over here. I always have Google Keep over here, which I'm definitely gonna do a video on soon showing you how I use Google Keep. But I look at my to-do list and see if there's anything that's like, okay, I have to do it before school even starts. <laughs> um, I put away my stuff. Sometimes I fix breakfast and I definitely always grab my coffee. Okay, come with me out here. We go out here. Well, here is the circulation desk computer. So this is where my TAs and my seniors that are basically teacher's aides, this is where they sit. So I always log into this computer every single morning to make sure it's ready. If I can remember, I also reset the due date stamp to be the correct day because it'll be set for the day before. <laughs> um, and sometimes this computer doesn't turn on. So that's always a whole thing. I just have to re-log into Destiny every single morning on here because it like logs me out overnight and I just have circulation pulled up and ready to go. So there we go. I also have a sheet over here on the side that has the library passes that these are the teachers that are sending students. I've kind of blocked the student names over here, but the teachers send students to the library throughout the day. And this way I can see what time that they have, uh, have sent them to make sure that they show up and they show up at the right times. Sometimes I also check the holds tab right here. I won't do that just because the student names, but it will show me if any students have any books on hold that are ready for me to deliver to them. All right, then I, I make sure that there's plenty of room on the sign-in sheet here for students to sign in if I, don't, if I need to switch the page to the next page, which I did do that yesterday. Um, I come back here which this big screen should not be turned on. I don't know why it is, but the, the reason why there's two screens is because we're actually previewing that one for our new building. You know, we're getting a new high school in like less than two years now. So we're looking at different options besides this ViewSonic brand. Um, but this is actually, I, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now. I technically need to update some things on it. I show off various things that are going on in the library, um, try to give stats, like anything that I think might be interesting, the top five books that are currently being checked out. I advertise our audiobooks and our ebooks. I try to advertise any contests that we're doing, uh, but this definitely needs to be updated. So that might be on the list for something to do later today. Okay, now come with me over here to this computer. So this computer, what I basically used to do, I used to have the library catalog on that big screen back there, but students were not as apt to use it because other students could see what they were looking up. <laughs> and not everybody wants to know what types of books everybody else is checking out. Right here, I'm just gonna use this little computer and I, there's two sitting here. I know I need to get that fixed because because this one just doesn't have a desk for it. But I just keep our live, oh, look, somebody's actually used it. Look, somebody has searched Jennifer Lynn Barnes. How exciting. Um, so I just leave our, there it is. I just leave it pulled up right here, our library catalog. And I want to put another computer, which actually, no, there's a computer over here. I'd like to do another one here and put library catalog to give two places for it. But that computer was not working last I checked. I think it's just not plugged in. <laughs> so that is also on the list of something to do is just to make sure that this is all set up. I just see if there's anything else I need to set up for the day. So like this activity is already set up. There are no classes actually doing this today uh, because I don't have actual classes coming to the library until next week. Um, so I have all week this week to kind of prep other stuff. But this is, you know, if I had an activity, I would make sure that everything is ready to go for it. You know, make sure enough papers are on the tables, make sure the correct amount of books are on the tables. Just, you know, pulling down this big screen right here. A lot of times I have to pull it down and I'll log into this little computer right here. I turn on the sound system here and then that way I can run whatever the little activity is. 
So today I'm mostly gonna make sure I'm ready for my classes. I think I mentioned it in another video that I am now teaching a second English 101 class uh, because that teacher left. So I now have two classes out of six of the day. So basically a third of my day is now teaching this class. Um, so I wanna make sure that I'm super prepared today uh, because it's only my second day teaching. <laughs> so I'm currently going to make sure everything's ready for first hour. I'm showing them some examples and I thought about possibly finding more examples. We're working on an argument of essay and I pulled out I, I took the names off, but I pulled out some body paragraphs that students have written so far on their rough drafts to kind of show them the differences in students who write, you know, in a very specific way that used a lot of details and students that did not, <laughs> that were very generic, that they didn't put like any research in one of their body paragraphs or any examples or anything. So I'm going to show them those two, but I thought about trying to find more than just two examples. But anyway, we'll see. So I, thought, I think I might go do that. I also might change my sign out front. I have a little sign out front that shows what books I'm currently reading. So I think I might even try to do that really quickly before school starts. So I will show you that in just a second. It is 8.34. I have what, six more minutes before the students can come down the hallway. I went ahead and changed my email signature to have my two current reads on here. I feel like I try to update this at least once a week just so that the faculty and people I email can see what I'm reading. I also printed out those two pictures of the books I'm currently reading and I'm gonna go tape them on the little sign out front. All right, and that is my morning. So very, oh, there's the bell. What good timing. I mean, seriously, I guess I'm saved by the bell. I have to go start class. <laughs> All right, well, I've already got a couple students coming in. So I just wanted to kind of show you what I do in the mornings. Obviously it's pretty minimal. I used to get here much earlier, like last year, uh, but I try to, you know, let the baby sleep basically as long as possible nowadays. Oh. And now they come on the announcements and play music for the next 10 minutes until class starts. So wish me good luck today and with my new class. So and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.